Hello everyone, um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from, you know the world. Today we'll be cooking with Kemi MK. Kemi is in the kitchen today to give you jambalaya jello. I call it jambalaya jello because that is what it just tastes to me. But it's called jambalaya rice. So today my jambalaya rice will be cooked with some chorizo or sausages i've got some mini sausage and um chicken breast it's optional it's just up to you if you want to use chicken breast or mini sausage but you just have to use your chorizo or um sausage and prints plum tomato oil to fry onion bell pepper green pepper and for the fries Belly, um, salt, chicken salt, curry powder, black pepper, salt, and some chili to spice the way. It depends on what you want. You can use any other, you can use oregano, you can use any other um, seasoning that you want to spice the way. It depends on what you want. For my own things, I want for my jambalaya, I want belly, curry. So let's go cooking. After adding some oil in my frying pan, then I need to add my. You can see that my chicken breast is frying. After which I will add my sliced chorizo. Our sausage. So I'll continue to toast my chicken breast until I get the dessert um, cooked. So I'll continue to toast my chicken breast. For a while before I add my sliced chorizo. The chicken breast is a bit not really ready, but a bit ready, and I'll add my chorizo to fry. Okay, so I added my chorizo or my sausage. While cooking it further, and I'll add my mini sausages into my mixture. So as you can see, I have chicken breast, chorizo, or sausage, and I've got my mini sausage. And I begin to fry for about 10 minutes before I will add my veg. As you can see already, our chorizo and the chicken breast and mini sausages is brown ready. Then I will add my pepper, my green pepper, the chili pepper and my red bell pepper if you if you like you can add yellow bell pepper if you have it it depends on what you want so for today i'm adding green pepper and green chili pepper and red bell pepper so i will toast it for about five minutes before i i turn it into my pot yeah as you can see, after frying it for about five minutes, it's all ready to be added into a new pot for our rice to be added. But before then, I will 
I will add my tin tomato into the oil as I'll be removing all my uh, chorizo, my black pepper, everything out of the oil. Then I will start with my tin tomato. You can see after blending my onions, my two onions, then I will saute my onion for about five minutes before adding my tin tomato. Yeah, after removing my mixture of my chorizo and chicken breast and the bread from the oil, then I will have to start with a new, and a new pot. I will have to start with. Yes, after sauteing my onion for about three minutes, then I have to add my tin tomato in the oil. And I'll leave it to simmer for about 15 minutes before adding my rice and my chorizo and coke. As my tomato is frying, then I would like to add my paprika, um, my powder paprika, chicken stock, curry, bay leaves, salt, black pepper, and some the rest of the maggi into my sauce. As you can see. sauce is getting ready before I will add my washed rice into it. Wash the rice thoroughly until the water becomes clear before adding it to the jambalaya. So I will add my rice to my tomato sauce which is the beginning of the jambalaya Jamba Jolo, as I would like to call it. So, adding my rice to the sauce, then I toss it, turn it, and I will add a bit of water for it to cook. I will leave it to simmer for about 10 minutes, then reduce the heat. Before adding my shrimps, a chorizo, and um, chicken breast meat, which is yeah, you can see this is the mixture of shrimp, of gambas, chorizo, and peppers, different color of pepper as you want. Like I have red. Uh, bell pepper green one i have chicken breast and sausages so this is the mixture i'll be adding to my jambalaya as it's getting ready so i have on the fire i have tomato onions fried with oil and my rice in it so i will leave it for 10 15 minutes to simmer then i will reduce the heat to I will reduce it to low, then I will add my veg, chorizo, chicken breast, and veg. As you can see, our jambalaya is getting ready. I've left it for about 12 minutes and I've reduced the heat and I will have to leave it to get ready for about 15 minutes again but before then I have to add all my um, vegetables my chorizo my um, chicken breast and the sausages so that our jambalaya can be complete without this jambalaya is not complete as you can see but when it's getting ready, when it's about five minutes to be ready, 
then I will need to add my shrimps or gamba. So as you can see, everything is getting set. The next 15 minutes, I'll bring you back to see how our gambalaya looks like. Yeah, right. Um, this is the end product of our jambalaya. Then I'll garnish it with my shrimps. This is the last thing that will come into our jambalaya that will make it a complete jambalaya. So I'll leave it to see now for. Ten minutes, then our jambalaya will be ready to consume. Right, this is the end product of my jambalaya. Jambalaya jamba jollof is ready. Uh, you can make it at your time when you are where you feel convenient for you to do it um, when you make your jambalaya or jamba jollof you can drop me a message and tell me how tasty it is this is prepared from jollof because jollof hasn't got any like seafood or poultry in it but in my jambalaya I have seafood you can have as many seafood as you want it's another type of uh, let me call let me say paella paella is a Spanish food well, and jambalaya is a food from New Orleans in America. If you want to know more about jambalaya, drop me an inbox. Then we have a chat. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye. Enjoy.